Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a twist on classic French toast. This is stuffed French toast. It's a custardy bread filled with cream cheese and strawberries topped with sweet maple syrup. There are endless possibilities when making this. You can stuff it with whatever you want or whatever you have on hand. So if you would like to learn how to make this, then let's get started. The first thing we're doing is slicing some bread. I'm using just a white loaf, but if you wanted something a little bit more interesting, brioche is the way to go. It's a very enriched bread, so it's perfect for French toast. Try to use bread that is a few days old, which has gone a little dry and stale. It will soak up the milk and egg mixture much better than fresh bread, and you're usually left with a delicious custardy French toast rather than soggy pieces that just fall apart. Cut the slices from the middle of the loaf so they will be around the same size. They need to be about an inch thick or two to three centimeters. You don't want the slices to be too thick that the bread won't cook the whole way through, but not thin either that it can't soak up much of the egg mixture. Lay the slices of bread out on a chopping board while we prepare the filling for the French toast. If you would like the recipe for this stuffed French toast, it will be in the information box below this video and also on my website, just click the link on the screen. For the French toast filling, place some room temperature cream cheese into a small bowl. Make sure it's room temperature as it will mix a lot more easily and also spread it a lot more evenly onto the bread. To sweeten up the cream cheese, add a few tablespoons of icing sugar or powdered sugar to the bowl. I'm using a wooden spoon to combine the ingredients together, but a whisk will also work. Mix it together until everything is evenly combined. This should only take a few minutes, the cream cheese will start to look very lumpy, but it should start to smooth out nicely. Divide the cream cheese mixture between the four slices of bread. Use a knife to spread the cream cheese mixture evenly across each slice of bread. We want quite a thick even layer, so make sure it has good coverage. For every person you're making the stuffed French toast for, you need two slices of bread, as they'll be sandwiched together. This recipe will serve two people, but it can be easily doubled to serve more. A quick fact about French toast, it's not actually French. It wasn't created in France, nor was the person who created it French. The name just comes from a chef named Joseph French. It was created as a way to revive stale old bread that otherwise would have been wasted, and today it's turned into a popular breakfast food. Along with the cream cheese, I'm stuffing the French toast with strawberries. If these aren't in season where you live, you can use any type of frozen berries. Just defrost them before you use them and they will work perfectly. I'm slicing the strawberries into quite thin slices. You don't want thick slices as they will be quite bulky and therefore stop the two slices of bread sticking together easily. Place the thinly sliced strawberries into a single layer onto two of the slices of the bread. They can overlap a small amount like I'm doing here, just don't make them more than one layer. The remaining two slices of bread won't need any strawberries, as these will be placed on top, creating a sandwich. Make sure to leave a small gap around the edge of the bread so it's just the cream cheese mixture. When the French toast is cooked, the cream cheese will melt and create a glue that will hold the two slices of bread together. Pick up the slices of bread without the strawberries and place it on top to create the sandwiches. Press down on the bread to make sure it has stuck together and the strawberries aren't going to just fall out. Set the bread to the side. In a clean bowl we're making the French toast mixture to dip the bread into. Crack in two good quality free range eggs. Measure out a cup of milk and pour into the bowl with the eggs. Here is a good time to add any type of flavouring you would like to the French toast. One of my favourite things to add is a sprinkle of cinnamon or you can just leave it plain like I did here. Use a fork to beat the ingredients together until they are well combined. This bowl is a little too small to dip the bread into, so I'm pouring the egg mixture into a shallow dish that is large enough to fit the bread. It's easier to pour it into a dish as the bread can sit flat and soak up the mixture. Place in one of the sandwiches and leave for a minute or so to soak up the liquid. While we're waiting for the bread, place a fry pan over medium heat and add a small amount of butter to the pan to melt. Turn the bread over carefully, not letting the slices of bread fall apart and leave for a further minute to soak up on the opposite side. Remove the bread from the dish and place it into a hot fry pan. Cook the French toast for about 4 minutes, checking the bottom occasionally that it's not burning. 
It will be ready to flip when the bottom is golden brown. To flip the French toast use a spatula. Since there was a gap left around the edge from the strawberries, the French toast should be properly stuck together. Cook for a further 4 minutes or until nicely golden brown. Remove the French toast from the fry pan and place on your shopping board to slice. Repeat with the remaining French toast. Cut the toast in half and place onto a plate. Sprinkle with icing sugar or powdered sugar, drizzle with maple syrup and enjoy. This is a fun and interesting way to make classic French toast a little more interesting. There are endless possibilities of what you could stuff the toast with. Banana and chocolate is an amazing mix. If you make this dish, please send me a photo on social media. I love seeing your recreations. Also, if you have any recipe requests, just leave them in the comments below. If you would like to see other brunch recipes, take a look at this Eggs Benedict video. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!